Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 3rd, 2018. So, hey everyone, um, the purpose of these videos is to help everyone plan your plan your day and do a little bit better job of just looking at the chart and reading what the chart is telling you, not to produce any kind of buy sell, uh, predictions or anything along those lines. It's just to take a look at the chart and see what the chart is telling us and give us a possibility of what could happen. Now let's take a look at this price action. This morning the bulls are really, really celebrating as the G20 meeting produced an agreement between the US and China to um, extend, they didn't really resolve anything, but to extend the possibility of a 25% tariff out 90 days, giving them a little bit more time to negotiate. I'm not exactly sure why that should translate into a 450, 500 point gap up, but it is. So, um, we, we, all we've really done with the, with the agreement is kind of kick that can down the road for another 90 days. So let's take a look and see what the market is doing in response to that. Um, as you can see, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is expected to gap up substantially. We're gapping up into this range. We do have this price resistance right up here that we have to think about, but so far we're gapping up sharply this morning. That's going to leave a massive gap behind. Now, now the good news is what that's going to do is slice right through this downtrend line. Don't be at all surprised to see that downtrend come back or that price will come back at some point in time to test that resistance. Now with this kind of gap up, you know, anybody that's caught short is, is going to be placed in a squeeze situation where they're going to be essentially forced to cover um, their trades, which can actually push the market a little bit higher as they cover those short trade positions. But we also have to recognize the fact that in a gap up this size, it could actually produce a pop and drop type pattern where the market pops up, sellers come in and push it back down. Now, I'm not trying to predict that. I'm just saying that is a possibility and we have to watch carefully for that. Now, I would love to say that uh, I've got some great trade ideas and things for you today, but let's face the fact that with this such a big gap up, there's no way to know exactly what those uh, charts are going to look like after the gap. So I'm not going to give any uh, particular trade ideas this morning. What I would really uh, suggest to everyone is that you watch that price action closely after the open and make sure we have buyers coming in to support that big gap, maybe pushing the market higher. If we don't see that, if we see sellers actually coming in, pushing the market back down, you'll want to be careful of jumping into new positions right away. Just let the market settle for here it may take it may take an hour or so this morning for the market to kind of settle as we continue to celebrate and let's continue remember that there are other issues here to consider this morning in this market number one being that uh, the the government will uh, excuse me the stock market um, will be closed on Wednesday in honor of um, former President George H. Bush uh, and his passing. He will be lying in state in the Capitol building. And so government and um, everything is going to, you know, really be shut down uh, for that national day of mourning. Um, so keep that in mind as you plan your week ahead. Also keep in mind that the federal government could shut down on Friday evening if Congress doesn't come together and pass a new bill. The sticking point, um, or budget, I mean, if the sticking point happens to be the, 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 um, the border wall, which of course we know is a very contentious subject and um, unlikely to be worked out very quickly or easily. So 
a lot of turmoil could also happen as a result of that this week. And then to add some additional pressure, the president has threatened that he will be just pulling out or canceling the NAFTA agreement, trying to force the Congress's hand to hurry up and pass the new trade agreement that's been negotiated between Canada and Europe. In Mexico. So kind of, <laughs> there's some things to think about here this morning um, beyond just this big gap up. And what that really means to me is we're, we can probably expect some tremendous volatility in the coming days and weeks ahead as we try to negotiate the all of these different um, avenues. New Congress coming into play. There's going to be an awful lot of turmoil going on. So please keep in mind, uh, it, we can celebrate this morning, but I would be really careful to uh, to not just blindly jump in thinking this market is just going to soar higher with all of those things still um, still as big unknowns in the market. So watch that closely. Now, if this is the first time you guys have seen this information, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly appreciate appreciate it. And I want to say a special thank you to all of you who take the, take that moment to click that thumbs up button and, and to leave a brief comment. That helps the algorithms show these videos to more people. And I really want to thank you for helping out with that. I, I never intend to make money from these videos. This is just to help other traders do a better job with their daily preparation. So with that, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY here really quick. SPY also gapping up sharply, breaking this downtrend. Rallying back up, we have a beautiful double bottom pattern and we're gapping up towards the top, towards, I didn't say above, towards the top of that uh, W pattern and that resistance area. You can see we have price resistance right in this area. So we'll want to watch that price resistance. It's going to be extremely important that we hold in here and not see selling come back into play. So watch that carefully and watch that closely. Let's take a look at the cues. The cues also moved up Friday, by the way, nicely moved up Friday, gapping up this morning substantially, but we're still below this resistance level. And this is a fairly substantial resistance level in the queues, but it is a very bullish thing to see us breaking the downtrend, moving up and giving us a possibility of finding some support in here to move on higher. So um, good signs in the market to be certain to see to see such a bullish reaction this morning. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, I've been mentioning for a while, had one of the better patterns in holding on to these support levels, uh, or, or one of the only to really hold substantially right in here, and now is gapping up this morning. So as the small caps recover, um, as well, we're, we're going to see these resistance levels come into play. And it is very, very nice to see that we have broken through that downtrend. So we need to see that hold of support. Now, also keep in mind, um, I, I need to go back here just really quickly to the cues and take a look at our moving averages. Um, keep in mind here on um, the cues, we are gapping right up into a major resistance area with the 50 just getting ready to cross down through that 200 um, creating that death cross so um, I, I'm guessing it will cross through but it all depends on how the price action responds here if we can actually break above that whether or not it will stay in that condition it would likely cross through and cross right back up is as long as um, um, we can hold this current gap and, and show some signs of bullishness after the fact there. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has done a really good job. The fear has just been slowly and slowly creeping out of the out of the market here. And this morning we should see this gap substantially below this support level. Keep in mind we have a bigger support level down in here in price and a uh, you know four or five hundred point move is likely going to open um, the VIX down in here someplace and we could see um, 
um, that either hold as support or we could see these support levels break and continuing to move that f fear lower. So great little thing to see that fear um, is likely dropping out a little bit. But I don't think we can assume that volatility is going to go away anytime soon um, with all of those things kind of on the market's plate um, over the next week or two. Let's um, also take a look at T2122. Here's a concern that I have about this morning's big gap. Once again, we're going to get one of these big, big spikes and today's big spike is likely to carry us clear up here into that short-term oversold condition up here in that bearish reversal zone. Now, certainly news events like this can keep us up here for a period of time. This Just because we're up in here doesn't necessarily mean we have to immediately fall. So we'll have to watch that closely. But this big gap up this morning certainly could create that condition. We want to uh, keep that in mind as we um, plan our day and just not blindly rush into the market. We still want to do um, our due di diligence, planning our trades very carefully and watching that market price action. Let's take a look at the economic calendar for this morning. Economic calendar has a few things on it here that we need to pay attention to. First thing this morning here at 9.45 Eastern Time, we have the PMI Manufacturing Index. Um, we have the ISM Manufacturing Index at 10, and then we have Construction Spending also at 10. Each one of those has a potential of moving the market, so we'll want to watch those cl closely. We have three Fed speakers today and several bond announcements and auctions going on to be made aware of in the market. On the earnings front, we have about 31 companies reporting earnings today, so please make sure you're checking that earnings list against any current holdings and hold, um, stocks that you're thinking about buying to prevent um, some major risk situation because you were not aware of an earnings report. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. So be careful today. Be careful not to chase. Be careful not to get overly wound up and chase into this. Let's wait and see how this settles out. Unfortunately, when we get these great big moves like this all at once, it sets up the possibility for um, a tremendous volatility. We could see this toss around quite a bit this morning. So it really does increase the risk for those of us that are uh, swing traders. If you're a day trader, this may be right up your alley. If you've got to be a pretty quick day trader, this may be perfect with this kind of volatility. Also keep in mind with all of those things that the government has to work through, we've got the, the, the closure on Wednesday, we've got the potential government shutdown coming on Friday, um, we've got the president potentially leaving the NAFTA deal. Um, we've got a lot going on and, and unfortunately anything that's government related like that when government um, government issues are front and center uh, it, it can make the market very very volatile so please keep in mind that we could see extremely huge price action moves we could see very fast price action we could see the potential for complete overnight reversals as these news reports and um, issues uh, kind of spin around out there so watch that closely and be prepared everyone take care we'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one.